What's up guys? Welcome back. Today's video is all about how to get cool and easy hairstyles using bobby pins. I know that this is a huge trend, especially during fashion week. I saw so many girls with really cool hairstyles, whether up or down with bobby pins. So today, I have one in right now. I don't know if it's picking up, but I have my gold ones in. This is probably my favorite like pattern to do. I don't know if you would call it a pattern, um, but I'm going to show you three different ones today. And basically, all you need for this is a hairbrush, hairspray, and bobby pins. You don't even need hairspray, but I just like it to last all day. So the bobby pins that I have, they're not the regular small thin ones. I just don't think those would hold this chunk of my hair, and it wouldn't make the same impact. So try to get larger ones. These are from Goody. I got these at Harmon's Face Values. They were like a dollar a pack. Very affordable. I'm sure you could get them online. I'll try to link them down below for you guys. And I'm sure you could get them at like Target, Walmart, wherever. Um, so yeah, I went with the large ones. I did black and gold. I thought gold would be fun if I wanted an impact. And then I thought black would be nice for going out, even if your hair is in like a high pony or bun, to throw a few in there and kind of spice things up. So I'm just going to show you guys how I got this look today and a few others. Okay, so this is my natural hair. You can curl it or straighten it beforehand. I just don't feel the need. I have very wavy, naturally waved hair, so I'm just going to kind of go with it for the sake of this tutorial. So pick whichever side you think is your better side. So for me, especially taking photos with this hairstyle, I wanted it on my left side. So I part my hair where I always part it dead in the middle and I'm just gonna take a hairbrush, this is just a wet brush, and just brush it out so it's nice and smooth. And now you could either do one of two things. You can style your hair to go over your ear, like this, which I think I kinda like, or you can go behind the ear. But you do need to decide this before you start so you could start to pin your hair. So I'm gonna do over the ear. And then it will kind of swoop back as you get lower. But to start up here, you want to go over the ear to start. <laughs> Basically, your first bobby pin, I was kind of confused on how high up, you know, like whether to start. So I kind of went from like the arch of my eyebrow up, and that's where I'm going to put the first one. And this is probably my most crazy um, hairstyle of all three of these today so basically what I do is I start with a straight pin just going straight in like this and then I'm gonna take another pin and I'm gonna go probably like through two so maybe three fingertips down from this one so like right here and once again you want to make sure you're holding down your hair so the bobby pin goes over it so the hair is not sticking out over the bobby pin like that. So right now I have two in and there's about three fingertips space in between. So now I'm going to take two more and I kind of like to do an X pattern. I think that's really fun. So I go in like this and I'm just going to make the first half of my X. And it's okay if they overlap a little bit at the top. That's fine. Once again, you just don't want your hair to kind of come over it because then you won't see it. So right now I have three in. And I'm going to take one more and I'm going to finish the other half of the, the other half of the X. Like that. So now I have one, two, I have four in right now and I want to do a total of six. So basically now I'm just going to make another X at the bottom. And how I'm going to do this is kind of hold it tight. And I'm going to start with this way, away from my face. And once again, make sure to just hold down that hair. And you can move them once they're ready in. So this is the downward part of my X. I'm hoping you guys can see this. And now I'm going to be doing the upward part. So once again, hold your hair. Make sure it stays nice and flat. You can spray it beforehand. My hair doesn't really respond well to hairspray so I didn't feel it necessary. I'm just going to spray it at the end to make sure I don't have any flyaways. And you could actually cross the bobby pins over too. So now I have a total of six bobby pins. I love this look. I think it is so fun. I got so many compliments. So now just with any hairspray I'm using the Chi Hydration Hairspray Natural Hold. I don't like Super Hold. I, once again I don't need, I don't think my hair just responds well with hairspray but you could use any hairspray you have. Um, so I'm just going to take it and do a few squirts and then just pat it down and make sure there's no flyaways. That is look one. 
simple, easy, but it takes my hair being down to the next level and it kind of gets the side out of my face. So now even if I wanted to kind of like curl this side and then you'll have like a fun design over here and then lots of curls. So this is good for daytime or going out. So now let me show you my other ones, which I think are easier. And I'm just going to take them all out for the sake, just so I could show you guys from the start. Now this one's super simple. Let me fix my camera. This one's super simple. Let's try the black ones. Let's see what the black ones look like. I don't know if you'll be able to see them in the camera, hopefully. I like this look, even if you're just going out. Wow, I can't speak. Even if you're just going to work, I think it's like, could be very cute and professional. So for this one, I think since it's not as big as a pattern I keep saying if it's not as big like I'm not gonna have as many bobby pins I'm only using three black ones for this one so I do want to start a little bit higher up so I'm gonna go probably two fingertips from my scalp and once again you want to press down your hair so it's nice and smooth and that's one and now I'm gonna take my middle one and now I'm gonna go probably from the arch of my eyebrow so like here and do a second And there's so many different type of bobby pins you could get. There's ones with rhinestones on them. I know those are really in. I know like Gucci has them and Chanel makes them. Um, but you could also just use plain ones like I'm doing. And now for the third one, I'm going to go from the end tip of my eyebrow and do one last one. Something about this I think is just so effortless and chic. And once again, you could spray it again. I don't think I need it. Um, I love this. I think it's so cute. Once again, great for the office, great for going out. It's such a trend this fall, like have fun with it. I think you can really dress it up or dress it down. So this is the third one, super easy. That took what, two minutes to do. You don't even really have to do the rest of your hair. I feel like it just helps to make you put look put together and to get the hair out of your face. So perfect for if you're running late for work or running late for anything in life, <laughs> which I am guilty of. I'm always late, which is horrible. For this last look, I'm going to put my hair in a low slicked back bun. I have been loving that trend, so I'm just going to need a ponytail for this look. And let me just put my hair up real quick. Okay, so now that I did my bun, once again, I just tied it up with a ponytail. Very simple, very easy. And I like to pull it out a little bit. I like it to look a little relaxed looking. So now, and you could also pull out your front pieces too. So I'm going to do that. I love that look. Which this is also just a great hairstyle on its own, by the way. But we're for the whole purpose of this video, it's bobby pins. So basically, move your front piece. And as you can tell, I'm doing it all on this side. Like I said, this is my side. But you can do it on your other side. So I think for this one, I think I'm going to... Oh, dropped it. Hold on. <laughs> so I think for this look, I'm going to have fun and kind of mix and match my bobby pins. Because why not live a little? And I feel like it'll even match my shirt, like black and gold. So... I'm going to start, and since I'm going to do three X's, you kind of want to start a little bit higher. So I'm going to start right here. And you, it's not so precise. I mean, everyone's head is different. Everyone's shape of head is different. So start where you think it would look best. But for me, I wanted to start towards the arch of my eyebrow, especially because that's the one that's going down. So now that this one will go up, it'll bring up the whole look higher. And even if we don't like the whole mixing and matching bobby pins, you could still just like do this with the same colored ones. So now for another going down one, I'm going to switch. So first I had the going down black, going up gold. So now I'm going to do going down black gold. And going up black. And you know what? Now thinking about it, I think I only need two for this look. Like two X's. So four bobby pins. I was going to do three, but I just feel like that's so far behind. So if you are using smaller ones, you could definitely get away with three. Once again, super easy hairstyle. So fun. So on trend. So timeless. You don't have to put any heat in your hair. You could do it when you're running late, on the go, and you have such like a fashion forward hairstyle and I'm not one to ever do my hair I'm sure you guys can even tell a lot of times in my videos my hair is natural but this trend is so for me because it's just so easy affordable simple 
and it doesn't take a lot of time which is like I'm sure what you guys are looking for too so make sure to let me know down below in the comments which look was your favorite one two or three I feel like I like them all for different reasons I feel like this one's super fun I'm gonna leave this in my like I'm gonna leave my hair like this all day and see what people say about it um, but yeah let me know down below if you guys try it if you have other ones I'm sure there's like a million more you could do but I just feel like these are gonna be my three go-to ones for fall um, but let me know down below which one was your, your favorite make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram I will have all that information down below and I will also try to link I always try to link in all my videos what I'm talking about what I'm wearing so I'll definitely try to have these linked down below so you could get the exact ones that I have they were very affordable and they hold my hair really well and I have thick heavy hair but I don't want to ramble so I will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching